We're outside the Training Academy in Queens County where our Department of Emergency Services is being joined by Annapolis Fire and Rescue to develop new skills and practice with new training equipment to better serve our residents. The EMS duty officers, the captains and the lieutenants, and our acting officers for each shift are practicing the rapid sequence or RSI quarterly training. Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services is one of the few jurisdictions in the state of Maryland that has this advanced skill. And what this skill does in patients that are tragically hurt, have crushed airways, clenched airways, or medical or traumatic events that lead to difficulty breathing where they're unable to keep their airway open and they need medications to assist with relaxing and basically paralyzing their airway in their body so we can better pass a breathing tube into their trachea and breathe for those patients. The requirements for this are very strict as governed by the Maryland Institute of Emergency Medical Services and our team works very hard at least once a quarter practicing different skills that play into effect with this difficult and sometimes scary procedure. Um, I'm very proud of our group. Uh, today what you're witnessing as we're going around to the different stations, we have a pharmacology station where we're actually having hands-on with the medications involved with this procedure and practicing drawing up the meds, explaining the meds, the indications, contraindications, side effects and all the things that can go good and bad with all these medicines as we introduce them into human systems and, and patients that we encounter. The second station is that we have a difficult airway that's continuously vomiting because believe it or not, the patients we encounter in the field aren't always nice and clean airways. A lot of them have just uh, had a big partaking of food or drink and that comes back to visit our crews and we have to be able to control their airway to stop any further disease process of getting the food or drink into their lungs. And the third station that you saw was uh, we have a high fidelity mannequin and this mannequin is basically able to do anything a human can do in including vomiting, including talking, including breathing, stop bleeding, clenched airway, it can uh, arterial bleed. This mannequin was a very high price uh, purchase for the county several years ago that we make very good use to in order to keep our skills up and proficient. So uh, again, we just try to practice and practice and practice and train, 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 so when the actual emergency happens, we give the best to the citizens and visitors of Queen Anne's County.